Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on Bow Boy. In this video, I'll be giving you guys some tips for Anime Showdown if this is your first time playing or if you're a returning player. As you guys can see, I'm currently ranked number one and number two on 2v2. Um, so yeah, I'll just be giving you guys some beginner tips, some combat tips, pretty much just everything that you'll need to know about this game before actually hopping in and playing it. Um, if you guys end up enjoying the video and found it helpful, let me know down in the comments down below. Also, subscribe to the channel. My current goal is 10,000 subscribers. I might be live later today or tomorrow, so if you're interested in that, join my Discord down below as well. But yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing I want to explain is that me when you first load in, um, you're obviously going to press play, and then you'll end up here. So there's some things that you guys need to know about here. So first of all, AFK World, if you ever want to leave on your computer overnight or whatever and farm gems or whatever, you guys can come here, just talk to him, he'll take you there. This is where you buy skins. Um, you talk to this lady, you buy whatever one you guys can afford. I don't really recommend doing this until you have all the characters because it's kind of just a waste until then. Um, training mode as well is right here. I want you to go through the basics of all that, learn what everything does. And now you're pretty much ready to play the game. Um, so the most important thing is going to be picking out what character you guys want. So obviously you'll have your starter character, Deku, whoever you guys decide to pick. I recommend picking Deku because I believe he would be the strongest out of the starter options. Um, but if you guys, you know, if they have a toad on release or something where you guys can actually pick whatever character you guys want. Here are some recommendations that I will give you guys. So Hit is a very good one to start off with because he has a counter and some really, really easy combos. He's one of the easiest characters just to, you know, plug in and play pretty much. Um, some other characters that are good is going to be, I believe, like pretty much anything in this roster right here is going to be very basic and you guys can learn pretty easily. Other than Rimuru, Rimuru is a little bit hard to actually get used to. Um, both of the Fire Force characters are pretty easy. Joker's good if you want to play a little bit more passive. The Bleach characters are all really good. Pretty much, almost for that, I would just say to do it based off of whoever you really want to play. Um, obviously, there's always going to be a meta. Um, but if you're just a, more of a casual player, then I would just play whoever you want. If you are like the meta player and you want to go instantly to ranked and just climb the leaderboard, then I recommend to look at someone's tier list. Um, you can look at mine because I will have one after the balance patch comes out. Drag drop combos might make one. Um, there's a lot of good players that you guys can actually learn from from their tier list. Just pick whatever characters they think are good. Um, but yeah, once you guys actually know what character you guys want to do, you go to training mode, and this is where you'll actually learn how to play the game. I don't recommend hopping straight into a casual match, because almost 99% of the time you just get whooped on by someone that's already either experienced, or is just spamming AoE moves and pretty much just spamming. Um, but once when you are in here, with your character of choice, personally I'll be using Hit just to showcase you guys, you know, how he works. You guys can do this with any character. I recommend um, when you first play the game, probably be in here for like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, just learning the basics and all that. But the first thing that you guys are going to want to do when you are in here is get all these pads right here. Don't run over the reset one, but all these ones have their own functionalities. So there's mode, mini mode, move energy, evasive, cooldown. Just run over all these and then you are ready to start practicing. Um, you will have to run over those constantly, so just remember the spawn of it. Um, but yeah, the first thing that I want to teach you guys about is going to be keybinds that are very important to learn. So obviously M1, M2, you have F to block, you have R to evasive, and then you have X, which is a new mechanic called um, super dashing or whatever, or salt dash, I believe it's called, which looks like this. So you press X, you dash towards them. And then C is to actually recharge your energy, as you guys can see by the belief bar recharging right there. Once you guys learn all those basic keybinds, then you guys are pretty much ready to actually learn the combat. So the first two most important things is just learning the M1 strings. So every single character in their base just has five M1, which looks like that. The fifth one will knock them back. And there's also M2, which looks like that, which will knock them back and ragdoll them as well. Um, but some other important things that you guys need to learn is the air version of those. So when you're actually in the air, this is what the M1 looks like. It will up tilt and then you can combo like that. Or you can do the same with a M2, which will knock them down and then you can combo like that. Now, both of those are very, very important to learn because you can actually use these in a certain way that is very broken. So, for example, this character all the way over here, if I was in range or something, I would do something like this. Just double jump, dash, boom. And as you guys can see, you can do it from super far away. The M2 works the same way, but it is a little bit shorter. I recommend using the up tilt a little bit more than the um, down slam, but they are both very good for the, their own um, things. You will need to learn how to do both of them perfectly. Um, but once when you learn that, you guys can kind of learn the actual combos. So the first thing is going to be the normal up tilt, which is just three M1s up tilt. Um, this is going to be your generic, just like pretty much every single game's um, starter combo up tilt, which is just one, two, three, up tilt. You can down slam, use a move, whatever. But that is what it looks like. So just one, two, three, up tilt. 
boom, you can do this, you can combo and do whatever afterwards. Um, that is very good, but then there's also another one which is a bit more advanced and kind of hard to do first time. Um, even if, you know, I could fail this first time just because it is a little bit difficult to do, but that is going to be a 4M1 up tilt which will launch them into the air and then you have to pretty much confirm on it by double jumping and then m one uh, which will look something like this. But yeah, that is pretty much what it looks like. The most important thing that you guys need to know there is to actually do the up tilt midair, you will have to hold space throughout the whole thing. So after you guys actually do, you know, this whole up tilt thing right here, you guys will have to um, jump up, but hold your space bar to actually get that up tilt. But that is what it looks like. You guys can combo send whatever with that. Um, but after you guys learn the basic combat, now you have to learn your character. This varies from everything. Um, but you guys just want to, you know, use every move, find out the range of every move, what it does, if it guard breaks, if it combo sends, things like that. So for hit, I'll just be doing this as an example, but there is a lot of different characters. I recommend to watch a showcase that explains every single character in depth, um, so you know what guard breaks does what. Um, it's very important to know all that. But for example, hit, I know 1, 2, and 3 all combo send, and then 4 is a counter, so it looks something like this when I actually put it together. So I could literally just, you know, I don't even have to up to it with this character pretty much, I can just do something like this. Um, it's a very easy combo. And um, that dummy was low, but yeah, you guys hit the point. And then, you know, my counter will obviously just counter them, knock them back. I can do something like that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you guys hit the point. Um, so after learning all that, you learn your character. Now you will need to learn your character's awakening. Every single character has their own awakening. Um, learning your awakening is kind of whatever. Obviously, you will go inside your awakening a lot during the game. Um, but. Each ranked match, the most you're gonna awaken is maybe twice. A lot of the times, you won't even awaken them once. Um, but for example, you just want to learn all your moves. So, um, so it's literally just learning your uh, character moveset, learning what you know. Because certain characters have abilities that will kill you. You just need to learn which ones to avoid, which ones to use in certain scenarios. It pretty much just all comes down to character mastery. Um, when you guys actually do get to a certain point of the game. Um, but yeah, once when you master your character, once when you master those basic movement things that I told you about, uh, you master, you know, <laughs> recharging even, you have to master pretty much every tiny thing about the game. It should take about an hour to do. Um, assault dash, you know, you can combo, like, you can really combo start with that too. Um, assault dash into just normal M1s. A lot of the time, if someone's, like, dumb, um, and not preparing for it, not blocking or whatever, then they will fall for it. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the complete guide. Everything else kind of comes just to playing the game. Ranked, um, I would recommend to obviously play meta because you're not going to really win if you're using Naruto, which is like one of the bad characters, um, against like Bombietta, which is the most broken character right now. So you guys kind of have to keep up with the meta, keep up with, you know, certain tech or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe. My current goal is 10,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.